What started as a science experiment 100 years ago is now responsible for tracking planes, your speeding tickets, and weather. We're talking about radar. Environment Canada has a network of over 30 radars spanning the country, constantly monitoring the skies. These radar stations work similar in the way to animals using echolocation. They emit a regular pulse of energy, then they measure how much of that energy is reflected back to the receiver, and how long it takes. The energy reflected back is measured in decibels. The higher the value returned means either a larger object or a higher quantity of smaller objects. These numbers have been assigned a color, and that's what we see on radar. Shades of blue were reserved for snow, while greens, yellows, oranges, and reds represent light to heavy rain. Purple depicts torrential rain or hail, and if you're seeing pink, that's a mix of rain and snow, freezing rain, or ice pellets. What radar doesn't do is look into the future. If you find yourself looking at a future radar scan, you're looking at a computed projection of the latest radar scan morphed with short-range model data. Anything in the future is considered forecasting, and we leave that up to the meteorologists. Check the radar on your app and tune in during severe weather to see all these tools in action on the Weather Network.